Good afternoon, Liz. Good afternoon, Anne. Good afternoon, Chris. Good afternoon, Louise. Good afternoon, Christine. Good afternoon, Rosemary. Good afternoon, Jackie. You look at all of you like eagerly waiting for it. Oh, I'll get onto Discord in a minute. Um, yes, it can be done in acrylics, Christine. Sorry, I've just seen that. Yes, it can be done in acrylics. Hello, Janice. Welcome. Hello, Heather. Hiya, Norma. Hiya, Robert. Welcome, everybody. Hello, Sue. Hello, Anne. Hello, Stephanie. Hello, Janet. Lots of new people as well. How lovely to see you. 21 of you. Hello, Mary. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to get my glasses on and try not to poke myself in the eye today. There we go. Okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm in here. Hello, hello, hello. Right, I've got Discord in my ear. <laughs> Literally. And then let's find bird song, because I know you all like the bird song. There we go. Nice relaxing bird song. Hello, Harry. Hello, Harry. Just excited. 
Yes, relax, Liz, relax. Okay. So it's a chicken a hen. Are you all nervous? Don't be. Don't be nervous. Is there any a bit of paper? Okay. I'll just I'll, I'll wait another minute just in case. We've got more. Oh. He just wants to join in. Ah. Uh, hello Kathy, welcome from Canada. No, it's not hard, Liz. It's not hard. Would I would I give you difficult subjects? <laughs> would I? Yes, I would. But no. Whereabouts in Canada are you, Kathy? I just had a question in my ear. Hiya, Christine. Welcome. <laughs> now, now, Liz. Right. So let's um. Let's move my pencils out the way. Uh, oh, I'm sure I'll. I'll find out. So, I've got my, um, oh, I'm going to start in a second, yes. Near Toronto, Rosemary. Paris, Ontario, near Toronto. Hi, Rob. Welcome along. Oh, okay. Is it, have you got snow there, Cathy? Right, so I have my Caran Dash HB pencil. For non Caran Dash users, a 2B pencil is better, but Caran Dash pencils generally are at least one or two grades softer than most standard. Hello, and welcome, standard pencils. Um, so um, I'm using an HB, but a 2B would be better. So, as always, I'm going to take you through this and make it a bit easier to, to follow. Let me see if I can just drop the camera a little bit, just so you can see more of the paper and less of my desk. There we go. That's, ooh, that's a good setup. Okay. Uh, 26 would be a little bit cramped into into our little classroom so these these things are wonderful and I'm hoping that many of you may even um, decide to stick with us even when all of this is over for those that can that'd be lovely to have you joining us from all over the world so I'm fiddling with the camera oh they're southern Canada Rosemary so they've got they've not had much snow at all this year Right, so we've got our, our little chicky and our mother hen. It's a different chicken hen to um, the one that we've done in a watercolour class before now. And as always, it's how to break these things down that is the most important thing. Um, and we were doing, um, uh, last night was the start of the Drawn to Acrylics class. And we were um, doing a black cat in pencil, um, which was bit tricky wasn't it Nick but we managed and everybody did a cracking job hiya Vicky welcome so I'm fiddling with the camera I just want to try and get the um, angles right so you can see it a little bit more clearly that's better. Hello, Sue. Welcome. Right, there's loads of you now. Right, so let's have a have a look at um, this shape. So you can see it fills up at least two thirds of the page, over two thirds of the page. So we're really going to be looking at this 
this amount of paper to use. Space around it is useful. The space is important um, because it will help ground the image. And as always, I'm really, really keen to see you sharing your work in the comments section, either here when you've done or underneath where I've posted the original photograph. Um, at any point, you don't have to share it at this minute. Hello, Louise. Um, are you in the garden today, Louise, or are you at, at, at your table? Um, so now I'm going to, I'm basically going to draw, since it's a chicken, a big egg. A big egg. Now I'm using my pencil slightly on its side and I'm sort of like groping around for the shapes. We don't need to rub anything out yet. We don't need to do anything. It's not going to look like a chicken within the first 30 seconds of our lesson. So don't start criticising yourself, saying, oh, this is rubbish, I don't like this. This looks nothing like a hen. I'm giving up. Um, it's not going to look anything like a hen until the last um, five, mm, half an hour. It's all about pacing yourselves and learning the art of self-control, willpower and layering. If you're rushing too quickly, it won't look the same. Right, so once we've got our big egg, I'm now going to add a smaller egg. So we're, oh, you're in the garden, jealous. You've got good Wi-Fi, Louise. And then a little circle there. Looks a bit like an abstract, doesn't it, at the moment? I'm, I'm, I love having so many of you joining us. It's from all over the world. I absolutely love it. So we've got several, several places in the UK and um, several countries in the world. It's really, really lovely to have your company today. Right, I'm gonna just sketch in my little chicken um, here. So we've got a little circle for his, his little head. Got a little snowman here. It's all about sketching out. The more you can break things down into basic shapes, the easier it will be to do it again another time. Or um, we were talking last night about um, about this when we were doing the, the black cat and we were looking at what shapes um, we could find in the cat's face. There were lots of triangles um, to help us get the positioning of the eyes and nose correctly and the ears and all of that kind of thing. So it's, a, it's amazing when you start looking. It's all about looking and we don't look enough, I don't think, at all. Right, so I'm gonna do a weird thing and draw a diagonal line like that how long is it almost the length of my thumb and i'm going to do the same here a little bit shorter there So you'll hear me, you'll hear me straight away, but you won't see me for 10 to 20 seconds. Yeah. So it looks a little bit odd at the moment, but this is to help us get the eye line and the beak along the same line orientation. Looks nothing like a chicken, does it? No. Have I gone? I'm still there. I'm still there. I've got a funny feeling you're all gonna do a really good job of this one. 
I do. Well, yeah. Well, it is a bit like a melted snowman and a little baby snowman. That's kind of okay. So I'll, here I want to draw a teardrop that's roughly the size of my pencil width, if you know what I mean. So if I have my pencil like that, you can see it's a similar... shape. Ooh, me Sue, tell me about it. So it still looks nothing like a hen. That's okay. It's all right. We're not going to worry about it. It's not meant to look like one yet. So I'm just going to come in with a bit of a line here. And give me an idea of her little hooked beak. I hope you're all doing all right anyway. And you're doing as you're told and behaving yourselves. <laughs> Good. I've still got my um, rabbit handprints in the window. I'll have to take them out. From my um, Easter demonstration the other day, the other week. Um... Right, so I'm going to roughly indicate the nostril around about there. So we plan all of this out before we even contemplate um, anything else. A little bag under her eye. Yeah, they're, they're, they've got almost dinosaur-like features. So I'm just trying to map out roughly where these things are. And I say roughly because I could change my mind at a later point. But for now, I'm putting them here. And we'll be we'll be doing more um, more things with this. So this this line from the eye isn't the 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 separation between the beak that you know the opening its mouth. It's just to tell me where the beak is. So the mouth line is there. Now let me try and get this comb in the right. Place. So it doesn't matter if it doesn't look like this chicken as long as it looks like a chicken of sorts but certainly no need to panic just yet. And I might just bring that collar Round. It's lovely to have quite a few new people joining us today. Really lovely. So I'm just changing the shape a little bit there. So I haven't rubbed anything out yet. Um, I find it much easier to have lots of lines and then I can possibly and hopefully merge all of these lines once... Um, 
once I start shading and stuff. I'm not worrying about the two little chicks that have got their little bums showing um, and their backs facing us behind. It's just this chick um, with his mama having a cuddle. And I think we're gonna call this chick Doris. We're looking a bit like a chicken, isn't it? A little bit. A little bit like something. Do um, message if you've uh, got a query or a question. Don't be frightened to ask. So I'm just firming up some of the, the lines I'm happier with. Same pencil. Do any of you have any chickens? The pub opposite me used to have chickens all the time. And they'd regularly find their way into my garden and eat all the bird seed. One time, I, um, I got to the car um, got the engine running and then I forgot something so I quickly ran back into the house when I got back in um, to the car the uh, one of the chickens was sitting in the foot well of the driver's seat of the car so that to shush it out what what's on the menu I know um, I, th I think they might have eventually made their way to the menu or, um, or I don't know whether they were kept for the eggs, probably the eggs. Right, so we're just looking at the shape of the sort of neck feathers, they sort of like arc up round and down a little bit. So it's all about mapping. We're mapping out and planning. I can roughly make out where the wing is. And then we'll have a little look at the, the baby chick in a second. So we're just mapping it all out. We're not even half an hour in and look how much we're, we're achieving. So you're doing well. Yeah, so don't forget the free class online on Saturday morning at 11 o'clock. It is watercolours, but it is possible to do in acrylics or gouache or pastels. Um, the colours and materials needed are in the description section of the event as I've set it up. Um, and that's 11 till 12, 12.30ish. Um, it'd be nice to see you there. Other classes we've got coming up while we're just um, all waiting to catch up tomorrow morning is venice in watercolors and tomorrow afternoon is fir tree forest 
Friday afternoon in watercolours. This is Friday afternoon is the cloud study with the sun behind it in watercolours. Saturday, the free online watercolour class of a misty lake and the boat, a uh, rowing boat in the early morning. And it's a sunset down a country lane on Sunday morning at half past 10 in watercolours. So we've got lots of classes still to come this week, all online, all five pounds. Right, now let me try and link this little chick's body to his head. He's got a big head, hasn't he? Hello, little chicken. Oh, I've just, I've just spotted his little leg. I thought it was some straw, but it's not. He's got, he's got a big foot there. Lit, little eye. There. Oh, he's going to look a bit like a sparrow for a second. He's a big leg, isn't he? He's, he'll grow into it, Sue. He'll grow into it. I don't know where the other one is. Must be in the shadow. Or you, oh, I can just about, just about see. Something. Something there. What the little chicken's head, little chick's head. I've got a 1940s um, show on Sunday afternoon. Liz, I hope you'll be joining in and watching on you, Sue. I've been practising a Gracie Field song for it. Two o'clock. Oh, uh, well, uh, yeah, I had a... Uh, hi, Sarah. I had a bit of a... I had a bit of a um, break on Sunday. I didn't do any work. I did do work, but I was doing other work, not... Uh, not work work. I did miss not singing. I did sing, but I just didn't... sing live. Okay. I want to tint the the comb and wattle just slightly with my pencil, same pencil, not changing up yet. But this will hopefully, it's nice just to get a bit of tone in, especially the red bits. Just to give us a bit of an indication of things. I might do some of the red around her eyes. It's all red, isn't it? What am I talking about? It's all red. Waffle. I'm good at waffling. It has been said. I'm going to press down a little bit harder here, just so I've got a little bit of tone.
So same pencil, we're not worrying too much. Oh, wattle, not waffle. Sorry. You know, I've got my glasses on, Liz, but the, the laptop's so far away, the two T's look like an F. Wattle. Yes. It is a good, um, it is a good word. Sorry, I'm about five minutes behind now in the conversation. I'll get, I'll get there. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, so what I want to do is just get me a little smudgy stick, my paper stump. Now, don't forget, this is clean paper stump that is now just dirty with years of abuse. Um, and I'm just going to shade in the bits that I've shaded. But I am going to let it spill over into... The head apart from that little white patch if it's blurred it's your wi-fi that's all because um it's streaming a it's streaming a perfectly blurred image from from my phone i'm looking down and it's um and it's perfectly clear it's it's better than it is on my laptop but I, but, but my laptop image is quite clear as well But sometimes it can refocus if I move my hand away and back again too many times. Right, so I'm just gonna... So this is just smudging with a dirty stick. You could shade with your pencil at this point. But I've got a lot of, um, a lot of uh, graphite already on here. I'm going to use just to help eradicate you see that's why I don't bother rubbing out much because smudging it all I've already lost all of the lines that I didn't like or didn't need so um, it saves a lot of time but the problem is when you've got an eraser you rely on it far too much and you almost come to the point where you can't function without it Whereas actual fact, if you don't have one, you just learn to get by. I'm just darkening some of the lines again around his eye, her eye. Same pencil still. Uh, it'll happen. Your smudgy stick will get dirty at some point. Yeah, the more you smudge with it, the dirtier it'll get. I'm aiming to do as much as I can with just this one pencil to start with. Um, purely for the fact it's easier but also it's a good way so you can see just how much tone you can get in one pencil just by varying the pressure it's all about pressure the pressure down on me. Oh, 
that's all right. I think what is good about these online classes, and I've said this before, is like normally on a Wednesday, come half past four, I have to kick you out because um, obviously I've got other stuff to do and sometimes I've got another class to prepare for. Um, whereas because you're already at home, you can just, even when I've said goodbye and turn the camera off, you can still carry on and then watch it again. Um, because even if you just signed up for this one lesson, you've got until next Wednesday to keep watching the videos. So, um, it's good value for money, your fiver. Plus you get to listen to me. Which, to be honest, is worth more than a fiver in its own. Let alone the tuition. Hmm. Because I'm famous, you see. Well, you all know who I am, don't you? I could have been. I could have been famous. I could have been if um, Dale Rowney and Leisure Painter had their way. I could have been a big name in the art world. Yeah. Well, as long as you all know who I am, that's all I'm worried about. Well, I don't care if you don't know who I am, as long as you pay your fiver and do my class, that's it's even better. Right, so, just darkening some lines again. Now, um, what I'm going to do on the wattle and the comb is just loose little scribbles to get a different texture. So I'm sort of like not doing S shapes and I'm not doing circles. I'm just wiggling to get a bit of texture so it looks different to when we add the feathers. Now obviously you will be able to spend far more time on this after. Um, but I do want to give you much opportunity to learn all the techniques here in real life. And then you can sort of like go on and do your own. And faff about a little bit more. So while I've got this pencil, I'm going to do lots of little lines to indicate the feathers on the face, which is just around the cheek. Yeah. And going back. Now there is that white feather. So it's good if you can follow the contours for the feather. And every now and again, if I think I've lost a line, I'm just pressing down a little bit harder. What am I inflicting on you next Wednesday? Let me have a quick look so you know what to look forward to. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't tell you because you'll all be ill. You'll all have a sky. It's cloisters and perspective practice next week. So it'd be really useful, actually. Useful exercise. I'll try and make it fun. 
Maybe we'll stick Harry Potter in it or something. Yeah, it's all about the perspective next Wednesday. It's something everybody needs. It's the same as Columix in Rosemary. Everybody needs it, but people just um, decide not to attend any of the lessons on it because you it's always stuff that you think, oh, I'll just do that at home. I can do that any time. Um, and then you don't because you put it off. And certain books will assume that you've got a degree in art and science and maths before you even started. Um, So as I'm coming along here, not thinking about the dark feathers just yet. Because I might do that with a darker pencil. But as I'm coming along, I am sort of doing less lines and more little loops. So it feels more feathery for now. Thinner lines as you get around the head, more loopy lines as you get around the um, the thrill. I'm not a chicken expert, but you know what I mean. We need to shade the eye in as well, don't we? I keep forgetting. With an amber eye. But I won't rush, I won't rush. You're all doing really well. Obviously, I'm presuming you're all keeping up. You, you could be playing on a PlayStation or doing some knitting for all I know, because I can't actually see what you're doing. But I'll pretend you're doing well. Yeah, exactly. It's um, I love it. That that's this is the, this is probably my favourite bit compared to the the real life class. It's the uh, the quiet concentration. I can't hear the swear words now. Or the, the grunts of frustration or the whatever's going on. With the tears, <laughs> yeah. Tears of joy because you've created a really good piece of art. That's that's what they are. Hopefully you're enjoying this exercise so far. We're only 45 minutes in, not even that. And we've got something that vaguely resembles a hen's head. By half past four, we'll have something that vaguely resembles a hen, a whole hen with a little chicken, hopefully. Oh, you're moaning this week, are you, Lou? 
<laughs> hey, well, you know, you didn't you didn't moan for the calligraphy class on Saturday, did you? You enjoyed that. So, um, one moan a week's all right, isn't it? <laughs> I bet yours is going to look fantastic, Lou. So basically, what I'm going to... Oh, can I, shall I zoom in on the eye? No, I've worked out how to do this. Let me zoom in a little bit more. I always have to faff with the camera angles, so. though. Right, so you can see how rubbish mine is looking up close. That should spur you on a little. Oh, do you know what? I keep moving the camera, but I, I keep forgetting I can actually move the piece of paper. What an idiot. Right, so, um, for the eye, the darker part is on the right-hand side. So I'm just using the same pencil. Well, I've got lots of lines. Well, if he's impressed, Lou, that's good. I will go a bit darker with this um, later on. So at the moment, this is all done with the 2B or... Not, not to be, or not to be. <laughs> I might quickly switch to a six B or something. Maybe, maybe a nine B, just so you can see. If I go really dark. with the pupil. And some of those darker lines. Darks are what everybody gets frightened of, but they're what you need to make things more solid. I mean, instantly that nose and um, eye pops out. Huge, huge difference, adding a little bit of dark. We've got lots of tractors going up and down my lane today. But we've also equally got roadworks going on on the main road. I think it's HS2 stuff going on. So what I do is I'm sort of squinting. Well, not necessarily squinting. I'm half looking at the picture. You know, like, do you remember those um, weird puzzles in the 90s that you could, they were like a psychedelic stuff and you had to look beyond it to see whatever image was inside it. I could never do that, by the way. 
Um, so I'm sort of like looking through the hen and I can really see that it's much, much darker under the beak. And wattle. And that will help bring the head forward a little bit. Think about your pencil angles because it does make a difference because your your shading is never really good. Magic eye, that's it, Liz, thank you. Um, your shading is never gonna totally go away. Um, so follow the contours and follow the directions and it makes a big, big difference to the, um, the actual drawing because things will look like it's going in the right place. Now, for his, um, while I've got this darker feather, darker feather, darker pencil, I'm just going to move him up a little bit here. So hopefully you can, so I'm moving him a bit too far, there we go. Um, I'm just going to use the dark to tint some of the tips of these feathers. We might as well get this all in one. Go. Have we got any chicken experts in here? Uh, thank you, Sue. Alcohol helps, does it, Janice? Whatever the question is, it's always the answer, eh? Hey? Right, so little, little flicks and tips of your pencil going a bit darker, and then they sort of like turn up into the lines and thinner lines there, just to get pattern. Anybody know what type of hen this is? I have no clue. It is a hen. She's a pretty little hen. How many of you have just sung chick, 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 chick in their little leg for me during this? How many of you will now sing it because I've just put it in your head? My pleasure. A little bit darker behind here. Oh, I do love darks. All about con. I love contrast. It does. It really brings things forward and out. And it's so useful. And to get the patterns. If we hadn't. If we were too scared of these darks, we wouldn't be able to get that um, feather pattern in. I am pressing down quite hard with this 9B to try and get the shapes. And I will put it down before I go obscenely berserk and just colour everything in dark. But no, I will contain myself. And if I just move this back, I keep forgetting I've actually got, I've actually got the real view here on my camera and I never use it. But hopefully it's helping you see um, how to construct a drawing as well. I think that's what's quite useful with drawing classes is it's you're showing you know i'll show you how to do the whole thing from start to finish whereas with um other classes the painting classes um we don't really worry about the how we get the drawing down it's all about the, the painting isn't it so um hopefully this helps So we've got about an hour and a half. So we've, we've spent an hour just on the, the chicken's head, which actually is really useful um, because her body's a lot easier to work with. And then we've just got the little chicken maybe indicating a, a little bit of the funky chicken, maybe um, illustrating a little bit of the, uh, the straw so we know what they're sitting on, um, but that isn't as essential.
as um, as doing the, the main animals. We might actually be better to do the chick next, then her body, because then because her body's sort of wrapping round the chick, it's much easier to to incorporate. So I might stay zoomed in. Because I keep forgetting I can do that and it is useful, isn't it? If I zoom in too soon, then all you see is my hand in the way, which isn't isn't good. Unless I start, I'll see if they can, I'll see if Karen Dash will manufacture 12 inch pencils or something so I can work from a distance. So the pencil, my hand isn't in the way, maybe, I don't know. Right, before we move on to the little chick and then the body, it's five to three. If you want to grab yourself a drink or pop the kettle on, do that now because that's what I'm going to do. Um, and it'll give you a chance to catch up with that bit first. So five minutes and then we're back to it. So when the clock strikes three, um, we'll be back. Time for tea, the clock strikes three, absolutely. Right, I'm off to put the kettle on.
Steve Mitz and I'm back. Right. Da, 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 da. Hello everybody, welcome back. I should have I should have intervals running, shouldn't I? Look at that. Striker three. How brilliant am I? That's all right. Dinosaur's good. Right, I'm moving the camera up. Oh, look at that little chick. Yet, it's not a chicken yet, is it? It's not a little baby. But you'll see it's got potential to be a little... Now, if you notice, on my... Um, when I posted the picture, I said you'll need either a baro lid or a... Um, embossing tool or a skewer or something i'll be using an embossing tool now some of you if you do nail art you might find you've got um an embossing tool because it's what people put the the blobs on apparently so i've heard skewer's probably easier to hold than a biro lid So I'm going to do lots of little feathery lines. You're not really going to be able to see where I'm sticking them. Um, I could tell you where to stick them. But obviously, we're just following the contours. Is it showing up on the camera? Mm, it's not. Maybe if I put my lamp on, will that help? Ooh. Yes, look. I've put the light on and you can see the indentations of my feathers. Got a bit carried away then, didn't I? We did the, I'll show you the black cat that we did last night in a min, and then um, nearly everything was done using this. It was a, a lengthy process, wasn't it, Nick? Oh, and Amanda, you were there. You were there too. Toto, you were there too. We've still got some in the shop whenever that will reopen. Uh, so if I if I then sort of lightly skim my 2B pencil over this and then you can see that you can the the texture texture of the feathers is there. Little chicken. So I ought to really shade his eye in. And of course, put darker lines in. As well. To get a little hint of the pattern. 
Got a yellow head and more of a darker body. Oh, he's so little cute. How are we all doing in Facebook land? All right, you're very quiet. Oh, that tea was hot. <gasps> oh. to the 9B if you want to do a few darker bits. Now I haven't put any light in his eye. I don't know if I'm going to because there actually isn't any in the photograph but um, we'll see. But embossing is really useful. So even if you haven't learned a huge amount this morning um, this morning, this afternoon. Um, embossing is a useful, a useful thing. Your chick looks like Winston Churchill. <laughs> Be careful with his feet then, otherwise it'll look like he's giving the victory sign. peck them on the beaches. We will peck them. You gotta call your little chicken Winston now, Liz. <laughs> what do you expect? What do you expect? You've got a vicious chick. We've got a, a Winston. I, I will. You know. You know. You're telling me all these things about your chickens, and I'm really going to be intrigued by them when you uh, when you post them. <laughs> Winston Churchill chick. I can't wait. <laughs> I've just spotted a few more darker little flecks in the mama on her neck. An emu. Well, do you know what? When I first saw this picture, Rosemary, I thought how emu-like the baby chick looked in, in its colours and um, what have you. Because we're not, we're not used to, we, we think of little fluffy yellow chicks, don't we? The cigar. <laughs> oh, definitely can't wait to see it now, Liz. Has he got a hat on as well? Really long, really long toes. It, it it looks odd, but you know, it is what it is. Good idea. I shouldn't give you these ideas, should I? on now do I? No, because you've seen the embossing. But that embossing really works for feathers, furs and grass. Oh I did, I said I'd show you the cat um, that we did in the drawing class last night um, that was done in the same way. Ooh. 
there, look, you can see that we actually tinted the whole page and um, embossed on the tinted pencil and then went darker over the top of it. So um, that's all done with embossing. It was um, the whole lesson was embossed black cat but it was it was good fun it was good fun so then next week we're going to do um use the same image of the cat next tuesday night but then do an acrylic painting of it not on top of the pencil but as a separate one so it, it, it gets you used to the form and the shape and what have you because that's our new tuesday evening class that started It's hard to gauge how popular it will be to know how long I'll be running it for because obviously with the Tuesday evening, with, with our classes, I gauge on how busy the classes are in the first six months as to whether I continue them in the in the following six months. But since we're in, it only started this week and we're in lockdown potentially for a few more weeks, it's hard to know how successful it will be anyway. Um, so I'm having to kind of plan for it to go on from July to December. I've nearly finished those classes. I'm tentatively doing a few changes at the moment. Oh, what I want to do is, I think I am going to just use my putty eraser. Tweak it a little bit. And just dab a little bit of light in the eye. Not so it's really bright, just so it gives us an idea. My little chick looks like a Disney character at the minute. That's all right, I will be zooming out shortly. So it'll help us get a whole idea of the scene that we're building up. Because we've got our mama chick's body to, to put in now. I did a tiny, a tiny weeny bit. Have you got a putty rubber? If you, if you roll your putty rubber, like pinch a bit out, like plasticine and roll it out like you've got a little line like that. And then just dab, dab the eye with, with the little bit of putty rubber. Just dab it a few times. And then if you dab too much, you can just um, shade back around it and make the, the line a bit smaller. Okay, well, this is this. You're doing really well, everyone. Well done, all of you. So I'm basically just almost treating the hen like a, a cloud as I'm sort of sketching the larger areas with my lines. I can't really see what's going on there. But we know that that's okay, okay, okay. Might do a bit more embossing. Winston Churchill in the chicken soup. <laughs> Oh, gosh, Liz, I'm definitely wanting to see this. <sighs> 
Now you'll notice, well, I've, I've managed to keep my hands relatively um, graphite free for the moment um, because of, um, we've got a whole area where we've not had to um, do anything. I just want to shade behind the beak so then that's, that's out of the way. No, I dropped out for one second and it's back in. I'm drumming my fingers on the, the thing now that you'll see in about 10, 15 seconds. So I will be embossing. If you notice on Mama Chick, she has um, white quills to her feathers. So we'll indicate those um, with the embosser and that will, uh, or whichever tool you're using, and that will help immensely for our body. But I'm just waiting for as many of you to catch up as possible. Obviously, I can't tell you could all be just going, oh, come on, Barry, hurry up, stop faffing about. I've been waiting for ages. But I can't tell you, see. I've had Earl Grey tea this afternoon because I found a big box of it in a cupboard, so I'm drinking it. I kind of like it now. Oh, I, I've stacked up. I've got three big bags of loose leaf tea and a box of tea bags, plus lemon green tea, um, peppermint tea, honey lemon and ginger tea, um, Earl Grey tea, um, chai i'm i'm set for tea really oh green tea and uh chamomile tea and um some other tea that i can't remember oh well i haven't got gunpowder right so little short lines again following the contours in, emboss, 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 emboss. Little short lines, because these are going to be the quill um, lines. So if you sort of look on your mama hen, you can see that they get a bit longer. But I don't know if you'll see these because they're fewer and far between. Yeah, because cause this each feather is going to be that the feathers are much bigger, you see, so they need to be more spaced out. A dragon tail. Yes, so I'm not drawing the feathers. This is the center of each, this is the middle of each feather. N 
No, it's just straight lines. screwdriver well you're coming up with all sorts of things to use hmm, interesting oh don't louise about easter eggs I, I haven't had an easter egg this year um i didn't buy any before the lockdown and everywhere online had run out so i couldn't get one i had a nice little present sent to me of a, a little teddy with an, a mini egg chocolate mini egg basket which was really lovely so i have now got mini easter eggs to eat but i do enjoy an easter egg the easter egg chocolate tastes so different to real chocolate doesn't it cream eggs are mine i i wouldn't um when i was teaching in primary ed um as payment for being the only member of staff in um the uh school production and as a thank you, they bought me a massive tray of cream eggs. Oh. You're making me jealous now, Louise. Oh, wow. Oh, that is sad. So what I'm doing is I'm just skimming over with my dirty paper stump. Maybe I could do, you know, like um, George Formby did his little pool, the little stick of Blackpool Rock. Maybe I could do uh, my version of my little dirty paper stump. I think you do need to help them out, Lou. I think I think that's that's only fair. It's it's what every good mother should do. Absolutely. Um, so I'm just sort of rubbing over. Now, what you could do is you could colour in your finger with a soft pencil and just rub your finger over this and you'll see roughly, I'm leaving the bits that are white, the white feathers. There's not a huge amount of white feathers, to be fair. Um, if I do it in a sort of circular motion, that'll help. Give me a little stick of black cool rock. Well, I hope you're all having a wonderful, jolly time today. Well, nobody knows what they're doing when they start a class, because that's why you come to a class, isn't it? So by the end of it, you should know more about what you're doing. But at the beginning, if you knew what you were doing, you might as well teach the class or not come to it. Really? I've I have just let um got the track for leaning on a lamppost, but I'll have I'll have a look with them um, for Sunday, Liz. If I could find, I did, I did what I could with my gas mask. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, I'll. How come my what? There's the wing there. That's the wing. So 
I'm just smudging, same same stick, just a little bit darker. But I am going to do more with the feathers, so don't panic. How are we doing? I bet it's going to look amazing. I can feel it. Okay. Go back with me to be. And I am actually going to do each feather now, but as little lines and overlaid. So this is a little bit puffy. Because I've got a very big, dirty, smudgy stick and that's what it is. And it does things a lot quicker. I don't often boast about the size of my smudgy stick, but it does actually help. I don't know, can you see, um, can you see what I'm doing clearly enough or do you want to zoom in on this? To zoom in help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hoping we'll have time for the straw, absolutely. Um, hang on, if I zoom in, you can probably see a bit easier. Let's slide him over. So you can see you've got your centre line that we've sort of created. all about the layers yeah because of the little yep to be and we've got we've got loads of time so this is where you need to spend a little bit longer because each feather needs to feel like it's underneath so the ones um that are lower down the feathers chicken's body will be 
underneath the next layer. If you think of it like tiles on a roof. And then they get a little bit bigger and longer. As they get further out and across. I should have asked my neighbours if I could have borrowed a chicken. Because they've still got chickens next door. Not the pub, but uh, my next door neighbour has. I bet he would have let me if I'd have asked. But then I don't know what, I don't think I'd want a chicken. Just wandering around my house. Wouldn't be able to get it to keep still long enough. Yeah, absolutely. I've, I've struggled with eggs, to be honest. That's the one thing um that i've now struggled but i've i've managed to get a box coming in from my uh, from the milkman next week um I've, I've seen those. You see, I, I already have a veg box. Um, and um, and they normally have eggs, but they've been out of stock of eggs um, for three weeks now. They just can't, they can't get the eggs in. Oh yeah, because I get my milk from the milkman. Um, and I can usually get bits that I can't get from my veg box with the milkman, but they've been out of stock as well because they've had more people um, joining up, I suppose. Um, but, you know, I'm on my own. I'm not that desperate for anything. I've got loads of stuff, really. Um, I, I, I don't desperately, you know, my life is not going to end because I can't access an egg. So um, when I can get them, I'll be happy certainly makes you more grateful see it's quite nice living a very simplified life like I do because I live like I'm in the 40s and now I'm on rationing so it's fine No, because a lot of the online places have stopped getting new um, customers, haven't they? Well, that is nice of them. I know with the Cardo, um, I was in a queue and I gave up because I was in a, a four-hour queue. Um, I was... Yeah. I think people, I think, I think people are getting used to the idea of how, how to live in a different way. I mean, it's a big thing to get used to for a lot of the population, I think. So you've got to expect a little bit of um, upset while people try and totally change their whole lifestyle for some people. 
I, I, I have got to say, I haven't really had to change my life, apart from not going into work, in terms of my shopping habits and all of that kind of stuff. I haven't needed to change because I, I only buy what I need anyway. Um, and I've always got a well-stocked pantry, so um, I've I've not had to worry too much about any of that. So that's been a big relief. Right, so can you see what I'm... Sorry, Nick, go on. No. But I have I have decided it, it's made me um really appreciate the small in, I, I know I am a small independent business myself but it has made me under, uh, appreciate them far more um than um than I did already so the 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 chances of me supporting smaller shops when this is over are is much much higher I'll always try to go to a smaller business first um before I can get it anywhere else now I think because they've yes I know I know I am going all over with the feathers Lou there we go Yeah, well, it's good. Um, Steve Betts, the butcher's in the town centre, he's now got an online shop, so you can get your meat from him now as well, which is brilliant. It's lovely. And the um, the veg stall from the um, the market has gone online and he's doing deliveries. So um, it's lovely to see how flexible and, and what have you a lot of the... Even Sheila's Sweets in Parson Street, a few doors down... They've got a page on Shop Appy. Um, you can go on to Shop Appy and shop um, locally from from there. Um, and it's free delivery, I think, or three pounds delivery within a six mile radius. I can't remember how it works. Um, so it's uh, everybody's trying their hardest to to keep the the country going. I suppose what I'm doing is I'm just entertaining everybody, aren't I? I'm doing the the Vera Lynn version of keeping the country together. With music and art. <laughs> it really does make a difference, doesn't it? Um, no, Liz. Sorry. No shortcut. Get lost in the process. A black chicken, yeah. I hope, I've just had a real, me telling you to get lost in the process, Liz, I hope my my thing didn't freeze at the point where I just said get lost, because that would have been really rude, wouldn't it? <laughs> You'd never speak to me again. Don't upset Mrs. Riley. You're bored of the feathers now, Liz. I know, this is the thing. It's 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 a good thing for fiddlers, but it is a bit annoying for non-fiddlers. Oh, okay, Rosemary's just said she's a fiddler and she's bored, but Lou, Lou has just said how the feathers are her favourite part. So there you go, you see. It shows how art is something for everybody and you can't all like the same thing.
Yeah, unless you change the like like Nick said, unless you change the colour of the chicken and make it a black chicken or something, and just smear it all with graphite. My chicken's grey, because it's pencil. <laughs> well, I will love to see what you have created. Look at this little chick, and the little baby chicken. <laughs> yeah but the jacket I have to wear is now gone for PPE for the nurses rude to me you lot oh gosh Liz it's not that bad it's just a few feathers Stay with us. Yeah, she's just said she's lost the will to live with the feathers because she, she, she's done a chicken too big. Yeah, you, you have Rosemary's sympathy, um, Liz. Oh, but then you wouldn't have been able to get the lovely detail in its face. And think how small that little chick would have to have been if we'd have done a smaller chicken. What, just sat on it? <laughs> what, what? Hen, hen and an egg. Tiny hen with an egg. Goodness. Oh, Liz's chicken's the size of the Millennium Dome, she says. <laughs> Well, you know, that's true. Uh, next week, oh, I've just dropped me. So next week, you'll probably want um, a big sheet, yeah, for the perspective. The bigger sheet will be better because there'll be lots of angles and lines. Just drop me charge lead. See, even Sue says never to upset Mrs. Riley. We know, we know. I'm going to switch up to the 9B just to do uh, under his little wing. And if I darken here. <laughs> so Sue, Sue has said she should have done a bargain bucket instead. <laughs> and Liz says she can't come next week because she's um, still going to be doing her feathers. You can take a break from your face. You see, with the dark bits, Liz, you can for the for the shading. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not really worrying too much. You've lost what? I'm here. Can you hear me on Discord? Anybody? Talk to me. I haven't been anywhere. Oh, okay. Maybe my mic, um, I did drop my phone uh, that the Discord's attached to, so it might it might have been that the um, 
the um, mic and head thing. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. So I'm going darker around the dark bits of the chicken. Um, and that will help because it will disguise a few of the feathers that you may have got bored doing. No names mentioned. Um, yeah, that's fine. You do whatever works best for your work. I'm only here to give you ideas. Yeah. It's your world with your happy little chick and his little friend. Looks quite good from the photo on um, roast chicken dinner, anyone? <laughs> Have you plucked yours already, uh, Liz? Um, yeah, I'm just. I've just looked up at my laptop. My picture looks quite like I'm. I'm a proper artist. That's that's good. So I, I'm darkening the um, underside of the the hen a little bit more on the right hand side, just so it brings the, the little chick forward. And maybe a few of the feathers around there so it feels like he's nestled into mama. And then we can look at doing the straw. I hope all the new people today are enjoying the lesson. Um, be nice to hear from you or post your picture when you when you're done. And it really is. Well, yeah, I think Winston Churchill with its bald plucked mother will look wonderful, um, and I hope this will post it. Rosemary says, if you post yours, she'll post her pterodactyl. Right, so I'm just giving it a bit of a smudge with my finger just to soften some of the lines. Yeah, well, what you could do if you're really fed up with the feathers, we'll look at the, the straw, the straw next. I'm actually just going to smudge. I've got a really dirty finger, so I'm just going to smudge little area here. Or use your paper stump if you wanted to, but I don't want to use too much pressure. Now, the, the issue I've got is that if I use a paper st uh, uh oh goodness me my words aren't working today what's what's a uh, embossing tool it's going to be too thin for straw so i'm going to get my old bic biro lid out and do some if i use it on its edge i've got the lamp on so you can kind of see how it's going and i'm going to sort of indent thicker lines just hither and thither Ooh. yeah i'm using the pen lid because it's a lot broader than the um, embossing tool. Let me just stick a piece of paper underneath because I can feel I'm going to go through. 
And my cloisters are going to be covered in um, straw next week, if I'm not careful. Oh, thank you, Vicky. You can come again with that nice compliment. Basically, yeah. Big, long, twiggy things. Yeah. I have no shares in BIC, but BIC Biro lids do work wonders. No, I'm going um, about that high. So, I don't know, about an inch above the chick's head high. And I'm not going everywhere. I've got lots of gaps. But I am then, I've got a graphite stick. Now, I don't, I, I don't know if you've got graphite sticks or not. Um, I'm just going to skim over it because it's going to give me a slightly different texture, you see. And then use my little paper stump. And it'll just give me enough texture to see some of that straw. So I can then do some darker tones in and around it. So you can see that that biro lid has really helped. I'll use my paper stump just to give the indication of dark straw just in the background what other songs about chickens are there oh gosh that's a long time ago isn't it hold oh, a chicken in the air gosh yes yeah. and then um there is ch um chick chick um, Hmm. There's got to be lots of chicken songs. Obviously, there's lots of Easter songs, isn't there? Because you've got the In My Easter Barney um, and that kind of thing. So I've just given it a good old smudging and then we're going to do some dark shapes. Is your biro lid worked? Or whatever you're using? Ah, oh, hey little hen. When, when, when. Yeah. That's a good one, Liz. Chick, 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 chick in. Lay a little leg for me. Um. <laughs> so I'll show you what the plan is um, to get the, the layers of straw is I'm just going to create random sort of shapes, sometimes around the lines that I've um, drawn. So this is with the 9B, or an 8B, your darkest pencil, really. And it will just help... Um, Give the idea, if you've got an area where there's a lot of straw that you've drawn, you can um, just skim a little bit darker over the top.
Yeah, well, it's semi-negative, isn't it? Because we've already got um, the rough idea of the shapes of where these angles and lines can go. And I'll maybe add a few more. Yeah. And then I'm actually going to outline some of the straw look. So it feels like some of it is in front and some of it is behind and some of it is overlapping. This is a bit fiddly, but it's a little bit more exciting. Um, I use the term exciting loosely, obviously, um, but I, I've been on my own for such a long time that this is, this is as exciting as it gets. So you can see by outlining or just even bringing some lines of the straw over others. That bird song's lovely, isn't it? Just takes the edge off the afternoon. And Louise, you've got a real bird song there, haven't you? Because you're in the garden. I've only got a tiny little courtyard, so I only, I don't, uh, and next door's he hedges are so high and they're a lot higher than me. So I don't actually get much sun at all at this time of year. Once July comes, I get a little bit more. But even then, there's only certain times of day when, in so it's like mid to late afternoon when I know I can actually sit out in sun if I want to get a bit of vitamin D on my pale ginger flesh there's only uh, there's only a couple of times in a day that I can manage it we can see how it really starts to build up the straw and if you're clever, oh yeah, too sunny. If you're clever, you can do really dark straw or parts of really dark straw behind the mama and it will, um, it will bring her forward as well. Light against dark. What's that called, anybody? Italian word. Uh, that's it, chiaroscuro. Chiaro for light, oscuro for dark. Light against dark. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> making it a bit more of a vignette um, not a vinaigrette we're not eating it so I'm, I'm sort of like being a bit more loose 
with the, the pencil lines. This is all the 9B, but it really does help get the, the birds sort of sunk in to this straw. I, you could even do a few bits sticking up in front. So it uh, works a little bit easier. So as dreadful as it sounds for next week's lesson of cloisters, do still come, please. Please, please come. No, it, it'll be all right. It, it's good perspective and perspective is what everybody needs to learn. And if you're new and you'd like to carry on, do let us know. So you can see I've not actually had to rub anything out at all. Um, other than things that I wanted to, like highlights and stuff. All the other stuff I've just merged in um, to the backgrounds. There are probably other lines that I'd, um, I'd rub out if I could really be bothered. But because this is um, sort of like an aesthetic style sketch slash drawing it's not technical um so i don't really want to worry too much i might just darken some of the the edges of the feathers where they're just catching the light behind it just a little bit while i've got the 9b on here and there randomly So well done to you all for sticking with me. Um, I, I was expecting the uh, numbers to plummet once we started on the feathers. Um, so well done. Well done indeed. And I really look forward to um, be wor it's worth it though. It, it is worth it if you can Spend a little bit of time fiddling. It makes the world of a difference. Yeah, yeah, cool. I, I enjoyed, actually, when you did that on Monday night, Nick, because I could see what you'd done in class and then I could see what you did, you know, when you added extra things to it and, and changed it and what have you. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to stop there. Um, obviously, if you have any other questions or anything you want to ask, you can ask in the comments section after the after the lesson. And I'll I can carry on answering or send you pictures or, or what have you. Um, so some of you I know I'll see during um, during one of the classes the rest of this week. Or maybe I'll see you all log on on Saturday morning at 11 o'clock for the free online lesson. Um, and hopefully I might even see you all um, next week um, for next Wednesday's class. So thank you so much for your company again this week. It's always lovely to have all of you here. And um, I will see you all next time so goodbye take care and i'll see you soon bye 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 thank you see you friday bye bye